back with another video on easy math okay today i'm going to release a video on trigonometry okay today let's discuss about a topic in trigonometry called as transformation formula okay <music> let's see what are them and let's see how can we prove them okay guys the other thing is that these formulas are not the formula which have any relation with proof means these formula have have no proofs this is just a logical way and just we got them by adding and subtracting these operations as you can see we learned this formula be before in previous video right sin sin a plus sin a cos b plus cos a sin b is sin a plus b sin a cos b minus cos a sin b is nothing but sin a minus b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b means cos a plus b cos a cos b plus sin a sin b means cos a minus b okay now if you observe this carefully what will we understand what will happen if you add one and two if you add the first and the second equation what will you get here cos a sin b is negative is positive and this cos a sin b is negative so the two get cancelled out so you will get 2 sin a cos b so 2 sin a cos b is nothing but sin a plus b plus sin a minus b okay we have got a formula right we have got the formula for sin a into cos b what will be the formula for sin a into cos b it will be sin a plus b plus sin a minus b by 2 this 2 comes to this side. We got one formula, new formula. Just by adding 1 and 2. Okay, what if we subtract them? This minus symbol becomes positive. And here sin a cos b becomes negative. So sin a cos b in first equation and sin a cos b in second equation cancels out. You will get 2 cos a sin b. We got another formula for 2 cos a sin b. Which is sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. We got two formulae. Simple, isn't it? And then, what will I get if we add 3 and 4? This negative 1 cancels out. You will get 2 cos A cos B. If you add 3 and 4, you will get 2 cos A cos B is equal to cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. And the new formula, cos A cos B formula we got. And then, what if we subtract 3 from 4? Means 4 minus 3. Why? Why not 3 minus 4? If you do 3 minus 4, you will get minus 2 sin a sin b, right? So, if you do 4 minus 3, you will get 2 sin a sin b. So, we got formula for 2 sin a sin b. Which is cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. We got 4 new formula just by adding and subtracting them. Okay? Here is the following formula. 2 sin a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. And 2 cos a sin b is sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. 2 sin a sin b is cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. We got 4 new formulae. Okay, now we, you may ask, we got the formula for cos a into sin b or all formula in that way. How can we get the formula for cos a plus cos b, cos a plus cos b, cos a minus cos b, sin a plus sin b, sin a minus cos b. How can we get that formula? Okay, if you observe this carefully, here it is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. What will happen if we replace a plus b with c and a minus b with d? Or a plus b with alpha and a minus b with gamma? Let's take a plus b as c and a minus b as d. Then you will get cos cos c plus cos d. How the, then how will this one change? a plus b is c, a minus b is d. Then what is c plus d? What will happen if we add them? a plus b, as you can see here, a plus b plus a minus b means you will get 2a. So a means c plus d by 2. What will happen if you subtract them c minus d? 
a plus b minus a minus b means it will become 2b. So c minus d is 2b. So c minus d by 2 will be b. If we take in that way, we will get the following formula. Sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. Sin c minus sin d is 2 sin c minus d by 2 cos c plus d by 2. Cos c plus cos d is 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. Cos c minus cos d is minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2. Okay, if you observe carefully, it is the negative formula, right? How can we change that negative sign? Okay, minus sin a means sin minus a, right? There is a formula. Means, we learned that in so many episodes before. We learned that in past videos, that sin, <coughs> sorry, sin, sin minus a is equal to minus sin a. So this minus goes into the sin c minus d by 2. So it becomes sin d minus c by 2. If we multiply c minus d with minus, you will get d minus c. Okay, we got other four formula for sin a plus sin b, sin a minus sin b, sin a cos a plus cos b, cos a minus cos b. Okay, now let's see examples on these. Third examples, we can't understand what are those. Okay, our first example is prove that cos square a minus b plus cos square b minus cos a cos b cos a minus b is equal to sin square a. Okay, this is very big one, right? Cos square a minus b plus cos square b minus 2 cos a cos b cos into cos a minus b is equal to sin square a. We should prove that. Okay, how can we prove this? Okay, for proving this, there is no need of any other formula. You may think this is very difficult. It is very difficult to prove. Okay, in mathematics, to solve any problem, you should break down that in steps by steps. Okay, now, how can we break down that? For this, we should use the transformation formula and the formula we learned before. First, minus 2 cos A cos B. Co minus 2 cos A cos B. Just now, we learned the formula for 2 cos A cos B, right? Which is cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. So, we can write 2 cos A cos B as cos A plus B plus cos A minus B. That is the first step. And here cos A minus B. We should multiply that with cos A minus B. That is the second step. Cos square A minus B plus cos square B minus cos A plus B into cos A minus B. Cos A plus B into cos A minus B. Minus cos A minus B into cos A minus B means cos square A minus B. In trigonometry, we should not write like cos a whole square, we should write like cos square a. So, cos square a minus b. Here we got minus cos square a minus b, right? As there is minus sign here. You got minus cos square a minus b. But here we have plus cos square a minus b. So, we can cancel them out. So, you will get the remaining terms cos square b. And here, cos a plus b, cos a minus b. We learned the formula for cos a plus b into cos a minus b in the previous video. That is cos square b minus sin square a or sin cos square a minus sin square b. Both are same. But in this case, we have cos square b here. So, let's take cos square b minus sin square a. Cos square b minus sin square a. And multiply that with minus as there is a negative sign here. Okay. In solving problems, do not forget the signs. If you forgot the signs, the whole problem will become wrong. So, cos square b minus, if we should multiply with minus these two terms inside the brackets. Minus cos square b plus sin square a. Minus into minus becomes plus. So, cos square b minus cos square b cancels out. Or it is 0. So, you will get sin square a. This is how you can prove this formula. Here, if you observe carefully, we break it through 
in steps by steps first way two cos a cos b we know that formula so we use that formula and then cos a cos b we know cos a plus b into cos a minus b we know the formula we use the formula and then we simplified this okay now let's see an another example to understand this well Okay guys, now let's see the second example. This is also we should prove that sin a plus b minus 2 sin a plus sin a minus b by cos a plus b minus 2 cos a plus cos a minus b is equal to tan a. We should prove this. Okay, how can we prove this? Similarly, in the last example, we will prove this in step by step. First, sin a plus b sin a minus b. These are somewhat easy terms, right? Sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. What will I get if we add them? In transformation formula, we learned before, we know that sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is 2 sin a cos b. So, we will write that first. 2 sin a cos b. And then cos a plus b plus cos a minus b, it is 2 cos a cos b. And minus 2 sin a in numerator and minus 2 cos a in denominator remains the same. Now what can we do? As you know we can prove, we should prove for tan a. We should prove for tan. Now what can we do to get tan? Simply take 2 sin a common from this. Okay we can take sin a also common from this means just sin a. Let's take 2 sin a. 2 sin a into cos b minus here 2 sin a goes out. You will get 1. 2 sin a into cos b minus 1. By 2 cos a into cos b minus 1. Cos b minus 1 and cos b minus 1 cancels out. And here 2 and 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator cancels out. So you will get sin a by cos a which is tan a. Which is, it is equal to RH. So it is proved. Okay. This is how you can prove this problem. Okay. This is somewhat easy problem. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon to face you when it is a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video. Okay, in next trigonometry video, we will learn about some formula for angles like sin 2a cos 2a.